Now, this next category reflects outstanding international success across all creative industries, including music and performing arts, film, television and radio, software and interactive content such as virtual reality and augmented reality, writing, publishing and print media, and architecture, design and visual arts, including fashion design. I'd like to welcome the Chief Executive Officer of Screen Producers Australia, Matt Diener, who will announce the finalists. But first, Matt, tell us how your business supports exporters. Look, thanks, Koshi, and it's a real pleasure to be with you all tonight. Um, look, we're a body that assists trade for the screen industry, and we're in such an important moment right now where the opportunities for our stories to be told globally are so big because of the large international streaming platforms that we're all watching. Um, look, we work on ensuring that there's supporting policy frameworks um, that assist our industry to really tell our stories globally, and that assists us economically. And I think it provides a really good halo for the rest of our world um, and our Australian industries more broadly. So that's great. Um, look, the finalists for the Creative Industries Award are the Cobalt Design from Victoria, Doc from New South Wales, Next Level Racing from Queensland, The Mighty Kingdom Games from South Australia, Ormsby Guitars from WA, and Wild Bear Entertainment from ACT. Fantastic and good luck. Gee, that's an impressive list of finalists, isn't it? Our winner for 2021 Creative Industries Award is Wild Bear Entertainment. Now, Wild Bear achieved um, phenomenal success this year with the film Playing With Sharks. Did you see that? Profiling shark conservationist Valerie Taylor being snapped up by National Geographic for Disney Plus after appearing at the Sundance Film Festival. Um, Michael, you're joining us now. Uh, mate, congratulations. How does achieving such success and then recognition here at the Export Awards, um, how does it feel in, in such a hard year? Oh, hang on, hang on, Michael. We'll just see if we can fix your audio at, at your end. We're not hearing you. How's that? Try again. We are equal parts. Ah, there you go. And, Welcome. And shot. Yep, we've got you again now. OK, great. And, um, yeah, it's been an incredibly tough year, not just for us, for everyone who's in the exporting community. Uh, I, I think that... Um, it shows how remarkably adaptive our business has been. Not only have we had the challenges of, you know, selling our content internationally, but it making things with shutdowns and just the, the, the level of um, teamwork that it goes to bringing every project to the market. It's, it's been a hard year, but this is incredibly rewarding and satisfying uh, and a great sort of end to what's been a tough 12 months. Yeah, absolutely. What is it with sharks? I, I have a daughter that's addicted to Shark Week on the National Geographic channel and yeah. lo loves your documentary. <laughs> well, there is something incredibly, uh, um, you know, equal part, I guess, terrifying, but they're an awesome creature. And the amazing thing about Valerie's story is how she really challenged our understanding of sharks and she was prepared to step into the water with them and also, I mean, the incredible thing was that she was doing that in a man's world, uh, you know, 40 or 50 years ago, and then she built an amazing career as a successful filmmaker. And that, that story, I think, now particularly is resonating with audiences. And I'm sure, you know, there is something, the, the footage of her um, swimming in open water with sharks is, yep. is mesmerising, <laughs> and I encourage everyone to have a look on Disney+. Plus. And absolutely beautifully shot, and congratulations to you and your crews as well. It was just an outstanding effort. Congratulations again on winning the Creative Industries Award.